Okay, today on Cruise Man Cooks, I'm going to be making my chicken tikka masala. Now, this is not maybe the most traditional recipe, but this is how I do it. I'm going to start off by cubing up a couple of chicken breasts in about one inch, one and a half inch cubes. And I got some seasonings here I'm going to add to this. Uh, kind of like a marinade, but, you know, more of a, a paste, you might say. I've got some chopped garlic here. I've got some chopped ginger. This is fresh ginger that's chopped up. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, probably about a teaspoon of salt, maybe a teaspoon and a half, and then some garam masala. Now, I'm using store-bought garam masala. No respectable Indian would ever use store-bought. They would probably make their own. It's just a combination of spices. And then I'm going to use some plain uh, yogurt uh, that I'm adding to this, and I'm just going to kind of mix it up here a little bit and you know get all those spices kind of worked in together and then i'm just going to cover it with some saran wrap stick it in the refrigerator for at least 15 minutes you want this to kind of marinate for at least 15 minutes a uh, couple hours is okay you could also add a little lemon juice to this might actually brighten up the flavor a little bit i'm using some uh, grape seed oil after my chicken is marinated i'm using some grape seed oil and a little bit of ghee uh, maybe a couple tablespoons of ghee just to give it a little more flavor. And all ghee is is clarified butter, so it's uh, nothing unusual, but it'll withstand high temperatures that regular butter will not withstand. I'm just uh, kind of putting my chicken pieces in here. I've got it on medium heat, but it's you can see it's kind of sizzling. It's frying, and I want to get some color on this chicken. I'm not going to cook it all the way through. I just want to basically brown it. And um, you don't want to put these chicken pieces too close together or it'll steam the chicken. You want to actually kind of fry it or saute it. So uh, after a couple minutes, two or three minutes, I'll start turning these pieces. You can see that's the color I want on there. And I might turn it over two or three times on different sides just to get that color all the way around. Again, I'm not trying to fully cook the chicken because we're going to cook it later in the gravy. So uh, then I'll pull the chicken out of the pan. I'm going to leave that grease and that ghee and any little bits that are in that pan. Just go ahead and leave those in there because uh, that's just going to add a little bit extra flavor. Now I'm putting a whole onion that I've chopped up along with some more crushed garlic and some more crushed ginger. And I'm basically going to brown these in that oil and uh, cook them down a little bit. Now I'm adding some tomato paste and some uh, turmeric. Here. and then I'll add some more garam masala probably about a tablespoon and then we're going to add a few other things we're going to add some cumin seeds to this and it's a very fragrant dish as you can imagine and then we're going to add some red chili pepper flakes now I like these I like mine really hot and spicy so you can add as much chili flakes uh, to your taste as you like I like mine pretty hot and now I'm going to kind of cook down the tomatoes and I'm going to add some more yogurt in here and this will kind of start bringing the sauce together just a little bit. Now you can add more yogurt or less or none at all. And then I'm going to also add some heavy cream. This is like your whipping cream. I'm going to add some of that in there just to kind of get the sauce going a little bit more. You can see it's starting to turn into a sauce. I'll probably put about a half a cup of water in here too uh, to let it kick, you know, cook down uh, really nice. And then just basically stir it and bring it to kind of a simmer. And once you get this sauce going pretty good, you can then start adding your chicken pieces back in. I'm putting a little salt in here too, just to salt it a little bit. Oh, and also put a, about a tablespoon of brown sugar. I think it kind of helps cut the heat a little bit, adds a little bit of sweetness to the, to the dish. And then um, you can see the sauce is starting to come together a little bit. So now we're going to put the chicken back in and basically just cover it and let it simmer for about 20, 30 minutes. And it will completely cook that chicken all the way through. And then you're ready to serve. Now, in the meantime, I've been cooking some basmati rice over here on the side on another, in another pan. And so when we serve it, you know, we serve it with the basmati rice and scoop it out and you've got a really hot spicy uh, kind of an interesting take on chicken tikka masala now traditional Indian would put a little bit of uh, a coriander on top I don't like coriander so I'm just going to eat it the way it is